can live for God. Pastor Rich has always said it's like trying to hold on to the spirit of God is like holding it in a leaky styrofoam cup. So you have to always be being filled by the spirit. Man, I used to remember I would think that, oh, people are going to judge me if I go forward to get prayed for the Holy Spirit. It's like, dude, I'm the pastor. I will come and get prayed again right now today. I don't care because I want more of the Spirit for today. And I want them for tomorrow and the day after that. And if you're judging me, then, man, then you need to be with me at the altar getting more of the Holy Spirit. And, and guess what? If they're paying attention to me, then they better be praying that I experience more of the Holy Spirit. Because if they're focused on me, man, then they've missed the point. Yeah. And I got wrapped up in that as a kid, right? He'd be like, am I holding my hands the right way? And you guys get what I'm saying. Man, it's not about that. That we wouldn't be judgmental. It's that we would go and cheerlead for those so that they would experience more of the Spirit of God. I'm rapping. It says, and speaking in tongues, speak in tongues. They began to speak in other tongues, it says in Acts 2, verse 3. It's amazing. And, and these people that were around them that heard them speaking other tongues, it says that they were astonished. It says in verse 7 and 8, and they were amazed and astonished, saying, aren't all of these who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? And then it had this huge list of all the people that were there that listened and heard it. And then it says, we hear them telling of our own, in our own tongues the mighty works of God. See, all these people from all these different places were Jews that were coming back to celebrate this festival of God giving the law, of all these impartation happening. That's why they came. They heard in their own native language. So they were speaking in known tongues. That's tongues that we speak, languages. And they were speaking in other tongues. That's the Holy Spirit praying through us. So known tongues and own known tongues. That's what they were speaking on that day. And it was a powerful thing. In 1 Corinthians 14, it talks about prophecy and speaking other tongues. It says, for he who speaks in a tongue speaks to men, not to men, but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. That's what we're speaking. That's is we're praying. The spirit is praying through us. That's what the speaking in tongues is about. Is that he's praying on your behalf through you. And he's praying for other people through you that you might not even know that a situation. He's just praying in and through you. And what does it talk about? Paul says it builds up our spirit man. It builds us up. That's what it's about. That's what he, we're doing. We 